Welcome back. It is 9:10. Illinois just released new numbers that show 100 fully vaccinated people have died and 644 fully vaccinated have been hospitalized with breakthrough COVID infections. And that among all COVID deaths, 2.44% of individuals who died were fully vaccinated. So if you are fully vaccinated, how concerned should you be? Joining us to explain is Dr. Benjamin Singer with Northwestern Medicine. Good morning to you, Dr. Singer. We keep hearing about this Delta variant and these breakthrough infections that are alarming a lot of pe uh, people. And now the CDC is saying everybody should be masking up. So once you've been vaccinated, how common are these breakthrough infections and how concerned should we be? Breakthrough infections do happen, but they fortunately are still quite uncommon and it is extremely uncommon to become severely ill after a breakthrough infection meaning that you need to be admitted to an intensive care unit or even die from the infection those are extremely uncommon events even among breakthrough infections i think the take-home message is that the vaccines remain extremely effective even against the delta variant and they are exceptionally effective in preventing people from getting really really sick OK, let's talk about something that uh, came up with the CDC's new guidelines suggesting fully vaccinated, depending on where you live, you know, put mask on again. And that is how contagious are people who get these breakthrough variants? I think that's still an open question. We know that people who have infection with the Delta variant tend to be able to spread it more easily than with forms of the virus that we saw earlier in the pandemic. So it stands to reason that people who have a breakthrough infection with Delta might be more contagious, but we don't know it quite that way yet. And that's why I really think about all these preventive measures as kind of layers. The biggest layer, the most effective one is vaccination. So getting that vaccine is extremely important. Masks are another layer, uh, particularly as we see breakthrough infections and as we see the virus and the Delta variant circulate throughout the community. OK, let's talk about who is at high, highest risk of these breakthrough variants and infections. Are we finding there's a certain age group or a certain category of the fully vaccinated that are at higher risk? Right. So that's also a moving target, because remember that the older portion of our population, those over age 65, have the highest vaccination rates and so are in general most protected from infection overall. And so what we're seeing because of that is a shift in these cases toward younger people. And so while older people, particularly unvaccinated older people, probably represent the, the highest risk, we do see plenty of younger people, particularly those who have underlying medical conditions, still remaining susceptible to the virus. Yeah, you know, it's frightening because we hear a lot about how it is getting to this younger group. Uh, which for so long I think felt protected and now we're finding out that that's not necessarily the case. So who should be taking extra precautions right now? And I'm talking again about the fully vaccinated. Right, so I think that if you are in an area that has widespread transmission of the virus and in the lead into the story, you talked about some of those areas. And I think that if you are in a really packed environment, you know, you're going to Lollapalooza, putting on a mask, if you are in a higher risk group, makes sense. Who's the higher risk group? People with immune system problems, people who are around older individuals or people who have folks at home who also have immune system disorders or can't be uh, expected to respond very well to the vaccine because they have cancer and have undergone chemotherapy, they have an organ transplant. Again, all of these things that make you at higher risk. Okay, and finally, for those who are unvaccinated, we now know the Delta variant makes up a majority of the COVID infections. How do you compare the Delta variant to the initial strain of COVID that first hit our country? And what do you want these people who are unvaccinated to know? These vaccines are an absolute miracle. They are unbelievably effective. Delta has only shaved off a very small amount in their ability to protect you from getting sick, and they remain remarkably effective. You know, in the high 90s percent, uh, protecting you from getting sick to the point where you would need to be in the hospital ICU or die from the infection. 
Um, so again, the biggest layer of protection is the vaccine. You know, the best time to get vaccinated uh, was months ago, and the second best time is today. Okay. Dr. Benjamin Singer, thank you so much for joining us with Northwestern Medicine. We appreciate your time.